Hello everybody, it's Hennith or Bianca again with your Ask HR tip for the week. So this tip is for both business owners as well as career seekers. Have you ever found yourself getting stuck because you don't know how to answer the question, what is your salary requirement? Or a career seeker might be asking, what does this position pay? You don't really know what to say. Well, what I'm going to say to you especially as a career seeker, is that you should not be basing your salary expectation off of what your last position paid you, okay? Just because your last position paid you $40 an hour or $40,000 a year does not mean that that should be the basis of what you are going to be paid at your next position. You can be either lowballing or highballing yourself. Okay, what do I mean by that? If the position that you're applying to now requires an advanced degree and the position that you were at previously did not, then the salary expectations might be a little different. And by you saying, oh, my last position paid me $40,000, that lets the employer know that they can give you on the low end of what they were going to offer you because that's what you were being paid at your last job. Also, you don't want to have false expectations because your last position might not have required a um, or might have required an advanced degree and the position that you're applying to now, the, one of the qualifications might have been, hey, we're looking for people with entry level experience and you might be an experienced professional. So if they're looking for entry level, um, it doesn't mean that they won't be able to afford you or pay you your compensation. Just know that the salary expectations might be a little different. So what do you do instead? Instead, you want to see what the market is paying for that position. There's a company called Ladders.com. If you go on there, um, hopefully the company that you are applying to and business owners, if you're, your competitors, hopefully they're on Ladders.com. But you can actually go and see what current and former employees have to say about that particular company. And if you're lucky, they'll actually tell you how much they were paid in the position that you're applying to. That's a free nugget for you. So again, don't use, um, don't say, hey, my last job paid me this. Don't use that as a basis of your salary negotiation or uh, your salary requirements. And then also employers, don't say, hey, what did you, what were you paid at your last position? Pay people what they're worth and look at what the market is paying. Um, and, and I am an advocate. I, I always try to ensure that my clients are paying at least at market rate or above market rate because you want to stay competitive. So that's my Ask HR tip for the week. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me at hennether at career-image.com. I look forward to serving you with all of your HR needs. Let me know if you have another Ask HR topic that you want me to talk about. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I look forward to serving you all. Don't forget to command your day.